so you've sent your invitation to bid out to all the subcontractors you want to bid on your project. Great! But how do you track the subcontractors' bids once they've been submitted? Since your subcontractors can submit their bids directly within the Construct Connect platform, that means you can also review and track those bids within Construct Connect Bid Management. First, let's take a brief look at the subcontractors' process for submitting the bid so you can better understand what information is sent to the general contractor side. Subcontractors invited to your project can easily submit their bid through their project details page in Bid Center. By clicking on Submit Bid at the top of the project details page, a window appears allowing them to enter in their bid amount, a description or any specific callouts about their bid, and upload their bid documents. In the next screen, the subcontractor can review their information, and when ready, click Submit Bid. Once the subcontractor clicks Submit Bid, the general contractor's primary project contact will receive an email that the bid has been submitted. After the subcontractor has submitted their bid, you can then review it within Construct Connect Bid Management. To do this, navigate to the Trades and Coverage tab for your project. Within the list of bidders, there are three columns that help you see bids submitted by the subcontractors. These are the Bid Intent, Submitted Bid, and Adjusted Bid columns. If you don't see some or all these columns, you can make them display by using the Customize Columns button in the top right of that trade section. Let's start by discussing the Bid Intent column. Once a bid is received from a subcontractor, the Bid Intent field shows as bidding in bold green in the line for that contractor. This is an easy visual indicator to help you see who has submitted bids and who hasn't. The Submitted Bid column then shows the dollar amount of the bid as submitted by the subcontractor. Also notice the little colored money bag icon to the side. This indicates the status of the bid. The icon displays as gray when the bid is received, blue once you've reviewed it, and orange if it's a resubmitted bid. If you click on the dollar amount in the Submitted Bid column, it opens the Bid Submission flyout window so you can review the bid's details. From here, you can see the primary contact information for the trade contractor. You can also see the date the bid was submitted and the bid amount. A description field also displays. This displays the description as entered by the subcontractor. So this is a good place for them to clarify their exact scope of work and to input things like inclusions, exclusions, and qualifications. Beyond the description, you have access to review any documents that the subcontractor uploaded. Ideally, they would have uploaded a bid package document with detailed breakdowns of their estimate for you to review. Just click the Download Attachments button to export the documents to your computer, and then you can open and view them. Once you've reviewed the details and documents, then press the Mark as Reviewed checkbox. This is what changes the status of the bid from Submitted to Reviewed, and changes the money bag color from gray to blue. This status changes immediately for the subcontractor as well so they can also see that you reviewed their bid. There's also a Submitted Bids tab on the top of this window that you can select. Doing so shows the history of the bids submitted by this contractor for this job. So if they've submitted several different versions of their bid due to planned revisions or alternates, you can see them all here. For a job with resubmissions, the money bag icon also displays as orange. Back on the Trades and Coverage tab for the project, there's one additional column that we haven't discussed, the Adjusted Bid column. This is useful if, for example, one of your subcontractors submits a bid that covers more than one trade. The Bid Submission column always shows the total bid amount. You can use the Adjusted Bid column to manually type in a number for a secondary trade, so you can see the different amounts broken out while quickly reviewing the overall bidding details for the project. By using the Bid Submission tool, you and your subcontractors can deliver information to each other in real time directly within the Construct Connect platform. This saves time and makes sure that all your information for the bid can be easily stored and accessed in one convenient location. Submitting and reviewing bids has never been easier.